Hello, it's Dale here. Let me welcome you in the video course. Before we start and before we get into the core of this video course, I would like to start with a brief introduction of who I am and what I do. I've been trading full time for 12 years, but even before that, I was interested in economy and investing. I studied finance at university, which uh, sort of helped in my financial and trading education, but uh, the knowledge I got there was mostly theoretical. But the good thing when I was on the university was that I had plenty of time, so I was able to do my own research and my own learning and backtesting and trying various trading approaches myself. So even though I wasn't trading yet at the university, I was learning how to do it. And I was basically getting ready to start a full-time trading career. Apart from getting the university degree in finance, I also became a certified portfolio manager, investment manager, and I also got my financial derivative certification. After the university, I started to work as a market analyst in a big brokerage company. But uh, I didn't really like being an analyst in this company. You know, there were several reasons why I didn't like this job. You know, the first thing that I didn't really like was that there were like four analysts for the whole company. I was one of them. And then there was like 80 or 100 other people who were just selling stuff, who were just selling financial products. And all those guys didn't really care if we made any money for the people, for the clients. Only thing they really cared about was that they got their fees and their manager fees. So their only goal was to get more people, get more funds, which led to getting more fees. I wasn't really happy in a company like that. So I quit the company and I dedicated all my time into learning to trade. I was working 10 to 15 hours every day. I was trying different strategies, different styles. I was doing a lot of backtesting and also I started trading with smaller account. I started trading with stocks, then I went into investment certificates, uh, then I went into automated trading systems. I was in a team of developers and uh, my role was to create trading strategies. But most of my best trading strategies couldn't really be coded and they needed to be traded manually. So for that reason, I started trading manually on my own. And that's basically what I do until today. When I started trading, I was trying all of those indicators. I had the old MT4 platform and I tried to backtest all of those indicators and all the strategies that I found all around the internet. So I tried them all, I backtested most of the well-known indicators and I wasn't really getting anywhere, even though I spent tons of time doing it. So that was sort of dead end for me. The breaking point was when I started to using simple price action, when I deleted all the indicators and when I went into simple price action, only then I started to have some consistent profits. And after that, I started also using the volume profile, which is my favorite trading tool. And this is basically where I started to being profitable trader and I was able to make a living from trading. So currently I'm using the price action with combination of the volume profile, which seems to be the best combination for me. And I've been successfully trading like this for many years. As you probably know, trading is sort of lonely business. So I started participating on some trading forums like Forex Factory and in 2016, I created my own web page, trader-dale.com, where I teach people how to trade uh, with a volume profile and I teach them the methodology, which I also apply in my own trading. I also developed volume profile indicators for NinjaTrader 7 platform and for NinjaTrader 8 platform. Later, I also developed volume profile for MetaTrader 4, that's the flexible volume profile. And after that, I also developed a VWAP for NinjaTrader 8 which is another volume based indicator, which I'll show you how to use later in this video course. I also wrote a book, which is called Volume Profile, the insider's guide to trading. Uh, the book became Amazon bestseller within just a few months. And uh, in this book, there's all the theory about my way of trading with price action and volume profile. If you haven't read it, you can get it on my website or on Amazon. 
There's a lot of high quality content in the book and I'm sure you'll like it. Let me now tell you a bit about my way of trading. What I like to trade is intraday trades, uh, which are trades that last a few minutes to few hours. And I also like to trade swing trades, which are trades that last, for example, a few days. Those trades are not as time consuming as the intraday trades, which makes them pretty easy to trade and manage. And I also like to do investment sort of trading, which is uh, very long term trades, uh, which last, for example, a few months. My preferred trading instruments are currencies, futures, indices and stocks. All of those I'm able to analyze with price action and volume profile tool and the analysis is very similar. It doesn't really matter which instrument you use or which time frame you use. But uh, I'll speak about that more in depth uh, later in the course. As I said, my preferred method is price action combined with volume profile. I also like to use some confirmations, which can, for example, be confirmation from the VWAP indicator. Uh, the reason I like to use simple price action is because price action doesn't give you delayed information like so many indicators do. You know, all the indicators or all the standard indicators you have work with just two variables. They have time and they have price and nothing else. So they only show you delayed information about price in time, which I think is not really that helpful. So for that reason, I prefer simple price section, which gives you much more information than the delayed indicators. And I also like to use the volume profile, which I believe is the ultimate tool to track activity of big trading institutions. I think that using volume profile or volume based indicators is the only way to win in this game. Because if you look in the table, then you can see that absolute majority of the currency market is controlled by just 10 banks. And you absolutely need to know what those banks or those big players are up to because they move the price, they manipulate the price. And if you don't know what they are up to, then you can't really be winning in this game long term. I don't really think you can be winning in this game if you don't know what those big trading institutions are doing. And this doesn't really concern only the currency. It's the same for futures, for indices or for stocks. It doesn't really matter. There's always the majority of the banks who manipulate and who control the markets. And Volume Profile tool helps us identify their trading positions and we can predict what those institutions are up to. And we can build our trading strategies around this knowledge. So that's why I think uh, using volume profile is that important. The big advantage of using volume profile and price action is that it's very versatile methodology. A volume profile is a very versatile tool and for that reason you can use it very similarly on all time frames. So you can use basically the same strategies for intraday trading, for swing trading or for doing long term investing. And you can also use it for many different trading instruments. That's one big advantage of using the volume profile trading strategies. What my trading strategies have in common is that I'm picking reversal points or I'm trading pullbacks. So I'm not buying just when the price goes upwards. I'm not buying there. Instead, I'm waiting for pullbacks. So for example, if there is an uptrend, then I wait for pullback to significant price area and I enter in the trend with the pullback. And this is how all the strategies that I trade work. I'm picking the places where the price should reverse. I'm not doing breakout strategies or anything like it. I'm picking reversal points. Those are the points where the price turns. And the advantage of trading like this is when I establish a trading level, when I create a trading level, the trading level stays and it doesn't move. This type of trading is ideal for pending orders. So there is no need to sit in front of the computer all the time. 
you just create your levels and then you wait until the price gets to those levels. You can use pending orders or you can use some other system, but the levels which I create using the strategies stay at the same place. They don't move, which is a great advantage, especially if you don't want to be in front of your computer all the time, or if you want, for example, trade just swing trades, then there is no really need for you to sit in front of the computer and still you can trade profitably. Before you, you can see the structure of the video course. Uh, there are four big sections. The first one will deal with Ninja Trader, which is my preferred trading platform. I'll show you why to use it, how to use it, how to work with it, how to get free high quality data for Forex and also for futures. I'll show you how to create workspaces. Well, I'll teach you everything you need to know to trade with this platform. The next major section will be the price action section. I'll show you how to read charts, how to spot significant information that price action gives us, and uh, I'll be showing you my price action setups. When you go through all this, you'll finally be ready to start with the volume profile. So the next section will be the volume profile section. This is going to be the biggest section of the video course. The volume profile section has two parts. In the first part, I'll show you the basics of the volume profile so you can read the information the volume profile is giving us. And the second section is dedicated to the trading setups. The last section will be dedicated to VWAP, which is the new indicator I developed for NinjaTrader 8 platform. And this volume based indicator is best used as a confirmation indicator. I use it as a confirmation of intraday and swing trade signals. You can also use it as a standalone strategy. You don't really need to use a volume profile at all. You can use just the VWAP. The big difference between VWAP and other indicators is that the VWAP is volume based indicator. So it's not just the price and time, but it calculates using time, price and volumes. You will see that later in the VWAP section. I'm sure you'll like the indicator very much. And I'm also pretty sure that a lot of you will start using the VWAP as a standalone strategy. I'll present two strategies you can use with the VWAP. You can use those two strategies with intraday trading as well as with swing trading. The video course will have many smaller sections which will be easy to navigate through and to find stuff. So if you, for example, decide to rewatch the webinar, it will be easy to find the stuff that you found interesting or uh, that you want to get back to. Special attention is dedicated to trading setups and to many different real trading examples uh, there is a ton of those. I really feel it's very important to show you as many examples as possible so you can start trading those setups and trading strategies comfortably and profitably. So that's for the brief introduction of the course and I'll see you in the next section.